Princess Diana blamed Prince Charles for a tragic accident which drove their marriage apart, reveals a royal author. Princess Diana and Prince Charles' marriage went from fairy tale beginnings in 1981, to a union famously rocked by infidelities and arguments. The Princess of Wales became increasingly frustrated in the marriage after the births of Prince William and Prince Harry, and the royal couple would separate in 1992. They would eventually divorce on the advice of the Queen in 1996, the year before Diana's death in 1997. However, a royal author reveals how the Prince and Princess of Wales marriage had soured by the late 1980s, when a fatal accident struck and drove a wedge between them. In her 2007 book The Diana Chronicles, Tina Brown writes, At the end of the 80s, few people except the couple's closest friends knew just how bad the Wales marriage had become. The marriage was seen as cool but still workable. However, Brown reveals, it wasn't. The tragedy that finally drove them apart came in March 1988, when Charles and Diana were on a skiing holiday in Klosters, Switzerland with Charles' friend Major Hugh Lindsay. Diana chose to stay back at the chalet with Sarah Ferguson, but Charles went out on a skiing expedition with Lindsay. Lindsay was killed when an avalanche struck, burying him and seriously injuring another member of the skiing party. Brown writes, Diana blamed Charles for his recklessness in choosing such a hazardous run. The princess also fought with Charles about her determination that they accompany Lindsay's body home to his pregnant widow, Sarah. Brown added, Charles retreated to Higer over an estate of shock and guilt. Diana opted to stay in Kensington Palace consoling Sarah rather than her own husband. His loneliness was palpable. Brown writes how, after 1988, Charles began to undermine his wife during public engagements. As she became increasingly unhappy in the marriage, Diana hungered to blow up the golden couple myth once and for all.